Well, folks, I'm just going to do a quick clip because when I came through the check, I, I just say this tonight, there's a lot less people out. And when I came, when I came through Sawmill, I don't know if the vendors closed at six or if they were closed earlier, but at six o'clock, half of the food stalls were closed. So I would have to say, I'm hoping that they just close at six. That's what I'm hoping. But either way, when I came through at 6 p.m., they were closed. When I came through the checkpoint, uh, they actually tried to turn me back. And I was walking next to this lady with a bunch of kids and they were telling her to turn around. And they kind of told me. But what I had to explain was, look, man, I know this is petty, but Divi Martin ain't got the diapers that I need. I got to go down by the coffee shop, stand in line. Luckily, they saw it my way. Thank you very much. And this might be the last time I venture out, my friends. Or, or at least over here to Barreto. I don't want any problems. You know, I'm trying to explain something's petty is, uh, hey man, they don't got the brand of diapers at Divi Mart. That was pretty shitty of me, I guess. But if you take a look around there, there are even less people out tonight. So I gotta get down to Divi Mart, get these diapers, and that might be my last trip to Barrio Barreto for a while. That, that Palawan pawn shop, it is open. I was just here uh, after business hours yesterday. So the pile of lawn is open. But like I said, it's even more quiet today. All right, so uh, Fresh Options apparently closes at six. You want some meat, you better get there before six. All right, folks, this place closes at six. 7 a.m., six. And where I'm at, right here behind the, behind the coffee shop. So if you're gonna get to uh, BMM market here in Barreto. Just be advised, they, they close at six. Now I probably just screwed up because I gotta go back down to, uh, damn, Bismarck. <sighs> Bismarck probably ain't gonna have the diapers I need. And by the time I step back down there, they may be closed at six. I may have just screwed myself. I have to stop by Divi Mart. And, and again, you might think that's petty, right? You may you may think that's petty, but when when you got two babies, you're very experienced in diapers, and I know which ones leak, which ones don't. And if you don't go with the EQ, you're gonna have a leak. EQ, best brand of diapers here in the Philippines. Go with an EQ XL in an orange pack. Can't go wrong. Just another look around. We got chooks to go over there old lady begging me to bring some chooks to go but i better bust my ass down here and see if i can get in here before they close i'm gonna get run over that roast got plenty of chicken I just don't feel like stopping to roast right now. I made a bigger error. Like when I stopped by Bismarck, there were three people in line and I didn't feel like waiting. So I went down to uh, the other place behind the coffee shop and they closed at six. So I thought, all right, let me hustle back up to Bismarck. And when I hustled back up there, there were about 15 people standing in line. So basically I'm forced to go back to Divi Mart and get a brand of diapers that uh, that I don't want. I'm trying to find the EQ. Hey, guess there's worse things that can happen, right? Folks. All right. All right, before I forget, I gotta give a big shout out to my buddy Patrick. Damn, we got police rolling strong through here. Oh no, that's an ambulance. That's a fire department ambulance. Big shout out to my buddy Patrick, man. Brought me some fucking Corona. Folks, I'm sporting a 12-pack of Corona. 
up in my backpack right now like a champion like a like a champion 12 pack of corona how you doing my friend all right well don't say hello it's up to you <laughs> but i gotta run the checkpoint because i was supposed to go out and get diapers the line was too long but i ended up with a fucking 12 pack of corona beer and i gotta come up here to this checkpoint and convince these guys that i'm not out fucking around because i've got uh 25 minutes on the curfew curfews from 8 p.m. to I think 5 a.m. in the morning I got to get my ass back home before the police try to get me but I just told us like I told my how you doing sir like I told my old lady I said they can't catch Papa Bear now nah, I'm just kidding I ain't doing nothing wrong folks I ain't doing nothing wrong I went out to buy diapers the place was closed and so I picked up some beer instead. And now I'm beating feet, getting home before the uh, the 8 p.m. curfew. I'm living within the the, uh, the laws and the regulations set for, oh shit, set forth by the government. So that's the way it's gotta be right now, you know? Don't wanna get in trouble. But there ain't no trikes around, so I gotta step it out. I gotta, I gotta walk from here back to the penthouse. And to be, to be honest, the real pressure is not on me to get all the way home. The real pressure is for, for me to get past this checkpoint over here. And if I get past the checkpoint, then only people that could potentially bother me are the uh, Barangay folks. A beautiful girl over here. I gotta stop in and say hello. Oh shit. I get runned over. Oh, my phone's ringing, but hold on. I gotta go talk to this lady. Well, folks, some, some having this fucking pole over here is doing the fucking leaning tower of Pisa, which making all them wires and all these wires hang low like my fucking balls. Somebody needs to get over here and fix that fucking power pole. The goddamn leaning tower of Pisa before it fucks up everybody's electricity. Let's get that shit fixed. I'm gonna try to dip in here to fucking Divi Mart and get my man Forrest G some diapers before the police get me. It's uh, 20 minutes of curfew. That little corner restaurant is closed in addition to uh, Angel Burger. Mart is closed. I don't know if it closes at six or eight, but it's closed, I can't get them diapers. All right, folks, we made it through the checkpoint, no problem. I'm telling you, the police there, military, super friendly. Them guys are super friendly. Uh, just out there doing a job, so shout out to them. And how you doing, my friends? You doing okay? All right, so yeah. I got about 15 minutes of beat feet, step it out, get home. And again, I'm hoping 12 not one not two but 12 um hello how are you hello hello <laughs> that dog don't bite my ass folks i'm humping 12 corona beers in, in this arcteryx breeze backpack shout out to you patrick man thanks very much for bringing that my friend this is a beautiful night here in the philippines and nice cool breeze coming through. But yeah, um, folks, just to update, it seems to be more quiet tonight. It seems to be a little bit more clamped down on uh, the activities. There's less people out, uh, less vehicular traffic out. It seems to be maybe a few more police and uh, military personnel but again attitudes on the ground are positive just positive interactions between the the, uh, the citizens and the police and the military so everything is good here everybody seems to be happy and life is going on it's not draconian conditions like in China 
I'm not seeing that at all, my friends. So if everybody's worried about me, I appreciate your worry, but don't worry about me. Everything's good here in the Philippines. We are okay. But I guess what I'm gonna have to do to get these diapers is send Fatima to Divi Mart tomorrow. Cause I just can't stand waiting them damn lines. My goodness. But she's Filipina, she's used to waiting in lines. So I'm gonna send her to Divi Mart, pick up them diapers, solve the problem. And that's just the way we're gonna do it. So uh, now I just gotta get my ass home and get these beers on ice. And check my time so i see how much time i got oh yeah i got plenty of time i got 12 minutes it's 7 48 i got 12 minutes to get home before curfew my friends i'll run it right up to five minutes till and then i'll break out in a full sprint and as i was talking about this arcteryx breeze backpack you know it's not great for getting in and out of it's not a laptop bag this is a bag where you put your shit in it, put the weight in it, strap in, and fucking haul ass 15, 20, 25 miles. Then we get where you're going, you dump everything out. The benefit to this bag is the phase that you're in in transit. That's why I like it. Link down in the description. Arcteryx Breeze 32 liter. Shout out to the designers. I think it was designed by... Uh, chick up there at our terrace. I don't know that for a fact But I used to watch videos before I bought it And I think that how you doing my friend? How you doing? I think that uh, a chick was one of the main designers of this pack And if that's true shout out to you girl up there in Canada. I think you're in Canada And right here is uh, Magdalena where we used to live But I'm pushing forward folks headed towards San Isidro bite me i got one two three dogs so folks several gentlemen keep asking me where are you going sir where are you going going home if i stop and talk to them i'm gonna fucking violate the curfew i ain't got time to stop and talk my friends i mean i'm, cour I'm courteous i'm cordial to them but i ain't stopping curfew ain't till eight i'm good to go but if i stop and talk i'm not gonna be good to go That's just the way it is. I'm pushing forward like a fucking freight train. Ain't stopping until I get to the penthouse suite, kick up some fucking kid rock. Folks, I hope you, this is a rambling video. I'm gonna tell you why. Most of my videos were rambling, but I had three fucking Coronas. My buddy Patrick, man, shout out to you. And so that's just the way my mindset is right now. I'm three Coronas into it. Shout out to the Corona Beer Company. Dudes over there partying like rock stars. I keep saying Corona Beer Company, but fuck, I don't know which company Corona is owned by. I just say shout out at for the folks at the Corona Brewing fucking facility. Because I'm toting a fucking case of Corona Beer imported from Mexico brewed by my friends down south of the border supporting you my friends pushing on here's some beautiful trees i always talk about right here i know you can't see them maybe you see that light it's got a street light right here big old trees they're so big they got a no trespassing sign on them and when you come through here it's a little dark but like I told everybody before, the biggest threat that I've ever faced in Southeast Asia. Well, yeah, I'd say the biggest threat and the most frequent threat is just stray dogs. Like walking through these dark areas, I'm not worried about getting mugged or robbed or anything like that. You just worry about some fucking stray dog that maybe you've walked by a hundred times. But that 101 time he decides to bite your ass. <laughs> A little puppies in there with the mama dog yeah so the, these dark areas folks i've walked around fucking thailand philippines laos vietnam cambodia 
all hours of the night inebriated drunk hanging out with all kind of skanky ass girls the only threat only real threat i've ever faced was a goddamn stray dog trying to bite the, the foreign guy on his ankle that's it all right let me check my time still got a ways to go fuck i got five minutes i got five minutes now, I ain't gonna be no overstay, but it might be a violation of the curfew. I can't let that happen, folks. I'm gonna have to start stepping it out, but luckily, luckily I got this fucking Arcteryx Breeze. Get my motherfucking red wing boots on and a can-do attitude. Let's step it out, get a little airborne shuffle. Damn, please don't break. Please don't break the fucking Corona bottles. Please don't break. <laughs> fucking dogs. Oh, keep stepping, dog. Easy. Keep stepping. I'm trying to beat the curfew, motherfucker. Don't be biting me. Shit. Got the end in sight, my friends. I want to thank everybody for joining me. I do a little E&E &E here. A little E&E &E on this enhanced community quarantine. Hashtag loser on lockdown. Alright, peace out. I'll see you guys on the next one. I think it's at 8 o'clock. Fuck. I'm going. Alright, it's fucking full sprint now. Shit, gotta make a pass the wrong guy. Everybody looking at me, but I got to go. I ain't stopping. I, I ain't stopping. I'm almost there. I'm not late unless that fucking horn stops sounding. Them damn dogs, for whatever reason. Those damn dogs. I don't know what he's trying to do. Damn dogs, when they hear them fucking beers rattling in the back of my backpack, oh my god, they come after me. Oh shit. Alright, I'm fucking home, folks. Made it. Can't catch Papa Bear. My folks. I was talking yesterday that if you wanted to bug out and go on a ruck run for 15, 20 miles, you need this, you need that Arcteryx backpack. You don't need one of the military bug out bags, all them fucking zippers and pouches. Woo! <laughs> Shout out to my friends at Arcteryx because I just ran the gauntlet between trying to beat that curfew. Fucking dogs, those dogs, when you're, you got 12 Coronas in your fucking backpack and them bottles are jiggling together, it drives the fucking dogs crazy. I mean, I came by at motherfucking warp speed trying to get around the dogs, that made it worse. I come by the airborne shuffle, motherfucking dogs trying to get me. Woo! <laughs> but uh, good information. Tonight, the curfew is at 8. Tomorrow, the curfew goes to 5 p.m. Uh, here in Subic, I'm not sure if Barrio Breda is the same way or if it's countrywide, but I got information that said, hey, tomorrow, motherfucker, it's 5 o'clock. All right, so I'm, I'm not doing this shit tomorrow. I cut it too close tonight. Uh, <laughs> but like I said, you got a good backpack strapped on, got your... Good pair of red wing boots made in America, my friends. Strapped on in a can-do attitude with a motherfucking Carhartt shirt. How can you not fucking win? I won that race. I'm home. And I hope you guys enjoyed this fucking video. Ain't much substance to it. But it's just a look at my night. So I'll see you guys on the next one, my friends. Bring it on, baby. What you got, rum and coke? Bring that rum and coke. Let's do it.
I'm not gonna show you Fatima because she's in her goddamn sleeping pants looking a little haggard. <laughs> All right, if you're not a subscriber to my channel, bottom right hand corner of your screen. Should I show you what's in my backpack before I go? I guess I should. I guess I should show you the precious cargo uh, that I just carried back from fucking Barrio Barreto. Hold on, I'm gonna show you. Open that art terrace. Let me show my folks what I just humped back on this little ruck run. Beat that fucking buzzer and goddamn dogs. So folks, when I talk about this ain't no laptop bag, okay, what you gotta do is pull that, pull that string right there. Oh my goodness, these things might be a little stirred up. I'm gonna have to chew them down. But I, the circumstances, look at there. Arcteryx Breeze, 32 liter hiking backpack. Okay, beautifully carries a fucking 12 pack of Corona beer. Shout out to my friends down south of the border. Brewing Corona beer, my friends. This shit came all the way from your factory to uh, to the Philippines, and I just humped this shit in a full sprint from Barrio Barreto over here to my spot next to the mountains. Shout out to my buddy Patrick, man. I owe you one, brother. I appreciate it. And these are going, I'm, I'm going to put three in the freezer. I'm going to drink three uh, to hydrate because I'm sweating like a bitch. All right, folks. If uh, you want to do me a favor, go grab a case of Corona beer. Support them folks down there that are being affected. Their branding's being affected by this Chinese bat motherfucking research virus. Bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Hit that road sign. Overstay road sign. Get, a, get on board my channel. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, my friends.